Taurus, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Monday, February 22nd. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. The heart of your reading, we have the Eight of Wands reversed. Stalled communication. What's the blockage? Ten of Wands reversed. Someone just doesn't want to continue anymore. And they are not saying so. They don't want to cause conflict. They don't want to cause an argument. And uh, I think that's you because this is your focus. Five of Wands reversed. Mm, it's possible that you are viewing the situation with whomever is not communicating with you. And you are not wanting to push it with them. Like, hey, can you communicate? Can you please get back to me in a timely manner? Um, because you know that would start an argument. Really, this is just saying you're you're avoiding conflict, you're avoiding an argument. However, when the Five of Wands came up, the Six of Swords is at the bottom of the deck to give a deeper explanation. So I'm thinking that you are the one wanting to leave a situation. Um, and you're just not... You're not being very communicative. Show me the recent past. Knight of Cups reversed. You've already talked about your feelings, that this is not going to be a situation that resolves. Temperance reversed at the bottom of the deck. Um, whatever you are um, upset about or not content about, It's already out in the open. It's known. The energy of the environment. We have the Queen of Cups reversed. Eight of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Spirit is trying to get you to work towards something. Constructive. be emotionally independent and not um, not be a crutch for anyone else emotionally. Allow, allow yourself and others to take care of their own emotional needs. It's interesting, with this Eight of Swords, I'm actually getting that... Um, it has a positive connotation in that they want you to kind of shut out the noise, shut out the um, the chatter. Um, if there are people who are like nervous talkers in your environment, just like have to fill the space with with words. I have a feeling this that could be that could really be this that that's making a lot of sense for this situation um because all of that the barrage of of just time filler words you know this this the sense i'm getting is that it's not important conversation it's like nervous conversation or um like, hey, did you hear what so-and-so did the other day? And my mother said this. And, oh, did you talk to the neighbor and about the fence? And it's like, please just, can we be quiet? Can you stop talking to me? We've already discussed that 
I think I think there's been a discussion about the relationship ending and someone is just being a chatterbox. I don't think that it's pestering like regarding the relationship because I actually am getting the vibe that if this is an impending breakup, both people are on the same page about leaving. Six of Swords there again at the bottom of the deck. You're just not in the mood for any sort of uh, casual conversation, specifically not just meaningless chatter. Something that you used to tolerate, but now that the decision's been made that you're splitting up, it's, uh, you're not willing to tolerate it anymore. Show me the near future for Taurus. Here we go. Eight of Cups. You will finally get to go off in pursuit of the other two cups. So you've reached the eight. You're okay with the way your life is at the moment. It's it's not a failure. If this, re if this relationship is ending, it's one part of your life that you get to wrap up. The rest of your life, I think, is going pretty okay. And you want to build on that and and grow from here. It's like the relationship was holding you back from growing is what you would feel like if this is your reading. So you actually get to take uh, steps in an independent direction toward your individual happiness in the near future. Your surprise energy, justice in reverse. Um, okay. Yeah, um, well, that's a clear indicator. If we're talking about divorce here or a breakup, um, you might not get exactly what you want from the situation uh, in regards to possessions or um, there might be a delay in... when you're actually splitting up. Give me more on... Justice. Eight of Pentacles reversed could have to do with someone's job. Uh, if someone's out of work, the other might wait until that person goes back to work or finds a new job because it wouldn't be fair, justice reversed, to leave them in a situation of not being able to uh, support themselves. And then, like, here you are, fool at the bottom of the deck, just like, Bag packed, ready to head out the door as soon as this situation is resolved. Show me hopes and fears. Seven of Swords reversed. Uh, well, that's not wanting to be found out. Some sort of secret that you're keeping that you hope doesn't get out. It could also be um, you hope that you'll be able to repress the urge to just walk away, like leave in the middle of the night and not say anything. It could be that that's how badly you want out. Show me the end result, please. How do these energies resolve for Taurus? Nine of Wands, almost done. Almost done, so we, we progress. We go from 
a delay or a hold up, hold up or a blockage at the eight. The challenge is I want to get to the 10. I am, I feel ready to just let go of this and fulfill my obligation and be done with it. And then here we have the missing piece to the puzzle, the nine. It's the bridge to get to where you want to go, which is the ending. Um, it means that there are going to be like final actions taken, things that you can do, things that they can do, should do, have to do, depending on your situation, um, to start bringing this closer to the ending. Show me advice for Taurus, please. How can they make use of these energies for their highest and best good? Once more and I'll take the top card. Thank you. Oh, okay. Five of Cups says, don't avoid feeling your feelings. Even though you might be anxious, excited, looking forward to this ending, um, it is going to, before you can get to feeling new about things, like you're actually going to be receptive and truly ready for new love, you're going to have to process your feelings about what you're leaving behind. This is going to, if you're not already feeling this way, um, you will. You will have some, some sadness. You'll, um, I don't know, this could manifest as reminiscing about the past, the good times, remembering the commitment, remembering where you thought it would lead. Um, now, it could just be sadness over, um, like, the... The repercussions of this ending. Um, so if you're looking at the, this uh, strictly based on how it's affecting you in the moment, it could be, oh wow, like my finances took a hit, or um, I'm sad that my career isn't where I want it to be, and it's because of that person. Um, so it might be that sort of processing feelings, like taking stock of, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> Taking stock of your life and assessing the things that aren't where you want them to be, coming to terms with it, and preparing to make this your new starting point. Taurus, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.